How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we've got another review. Today we're going to be reviewing this 2018 Subaru Forester. So this 2018 Subaru Forester actually came in eight different trims and this uh, trim is actually the 2.5 limited trim. So I'll definitely be talking a lot more about the drivetrain in a minute, but I did just want to kind of clarify that because with all the different trims, it can definitely be confusing. So overall, I feel like the uh, body and like just this car in general is it's a great mid-size like all-wheel drive SUV that's very safe and pr safe and practical now as far as the designs concerned uh, me personally I've never really loved these uh, Subaru SUVs but it does look very similar to the Outback the Outback the Forester like they kind of have that standard uh, look to them but I feel like Subaru definitely designs like pretty much all of their SUVs to be focused around safety and also definitely does look a little bit more modern, a little bit more aerodynamic, not as boxy as some of the older uh, SUVs are. Even though me personally, I've never really like loved the design of these Subaru SUVs, I do feel as though they have certainly gained somewhat of a cult following throughout recent generations and just like over the years for sure, because they're just very practical, very kind of like jack of all trades sort of SUVs and plus they are also very safe as well. Now staying on the exterior with this uh, Subaru Forester, this specific gear is actually available in eight different exterior paint color options and two different interior color options. And also this 2018 Subaru Forester does have a length of 181 and a half inches, a width of 70.7 inches, a height of 68.2 inches, a wheelbase, of 104 inches. It also does have 8.7 inches of ground clearance and a curb weight just under 3,500 pounds at 3,455 pounds. So now moving on, the suspension uh, for this Forester is actually completely independent suspension. Again, it is a all wheel drive SUV and it does come with uh, stabilizer bars from factory, both in the front and the rear of this SUV. Now that being said, this is the limited trim. So it does have 17 inch alloy wheels some of the other trims actually do come with steel wheels which i did find interesting when researching the subaru and these 17 inch alloy wheels are wrapped in 225 by 60 by 17 all season tires and also underneath these wheels i don't know if you guys can really see them but the brake calipers they do look pretty standard but there is uh actually vented rotors in the front and there's just kind of like standard solid brake rotors in the rear. All right guys, so now I do have the hood popped on this 2018 Subaru Forester. And underneath the hood, you can see the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated double overhead cam four valve per cylinder, flat four cylinder engine. Now in a couple of the other trims for this year, uh, Forester it does come with the uh, 2.0, the two liter turbocharged flat four engine. Uh, this is actually the 2.5 liter naturally aspirated engine uh, actually does make less power unfortunately but um it is still you know extremely practical for daily driving so that being said this engine actually does deliver its power through a cvt automatic transmission now i've heard a lot of bad things about nissan cvt transmissions but i have also heard that not all CVTs are unreliable. So I honestly don't really know how I feel about this Forester's transmission, but I will definitely be sure to, you know, see how it feels, like see how it shifts when I'm actually driving the Forester today. And I'll definitely take note of that and make sure I, you know, let you guys know how it feels when actually driving it. So again, guys, to reiterate, this is a all wheel drive SUV, all wheel drive drivetrain. Uh, me personally, I don't know if the rear diff is actually an open diff or if it's a limited slip differential. So if you know this 2018 Forester a little bit more in depth, definitely let me know down in the comments below because I'm sure I'd love to uh, know. But anyways, this 2.5 liter naturally aspirated flat four engine does produce 174 foot pounds of torque at 4,100 RPMs and 170 horsepower at 5,800 RPM. So again, <laughs> For a 3,500 pound SUV, uh, you're definitely not going anywhere super quick with this vehicle, but it is fine for daily driving. Uh, pretty fuel efficient as well. This SUV does get uh, 26 miles per gallon during city driving, 32 miles per gallon during highway driving for a combined average right around 28 miles per gallon. 
So it definitely is pretty fuel efficient for sure. Uh, not like super crazy, like not in like the high 30s or like even 40s like we're seeing with some of the more modern day vehicles or like plug-in hybrids, but it's still pretty good. So pretty much uh, me personally, I don't think you're going to be spending like a lot of money on gas if you're daily driving this. And also one thing that I definitely wanted to take note of, uh, the owner actually did just purchase this vehicle like about a month ago, I think. So the engine bay is like pretty much spotless. I guess the dealership did a little engine bay detail as well as interior detail before selling it. But yeah, I did just want to kind of make a note of that because it does look absolutely amazing in this engine bay. All right, guys. So actually before uh, taking this Super Forester on a drive today, I did just want to briefly talk about the interior. Now I did put the uh, GoPro on my head. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be uh, having that on there while I'm driving just because it's having like issues connecting with my phone. But I did just want to highlight one thing, and it's like probably the first thing that I noticed when I got in this Forester is the visibility is actually amazing. And that's kind of why I wanted you guys to like see it firsthand. Like, I don't know if you guys could tell, but these A pillars are pretty much the only thing that blocks your vision. And they're very, very slim for A pillars. Like, they're not even, yeah, they're about like the width of my hand, if that. And also, right here, you have um, visibility there as well. This uh, rear view mirror is actually frameless, which is another really cool thing. You see that a lot with modern vehicles and even like just looking around back, you even have uh, three windows back there, even though the SUV is only two rows. So, I mean, yeah, pretty much. I mean, the interior is not like super luxurious. There's not like a whole lot of options. You do have Bluetooth audio. Uh, me personally, I mean, again, if you guys have been subscribed to my channel, you guys know I don't really like a lot of technology and like a lot of different options. So I kind of am more of like a minimalist when it comes to interior anyways. So I definitely do like how this SUV is designed. Again, uh, probably the number one Subaru, the number one thing that Subaru had in their mind when designing and manufacturing this SUV was probably safety. One big key factor of that is obviously a ton of airbags inside this uh, Subaru Forester, as well as again, like I said before, the just the overall visibility of this thing is absolutely amazing. So again, guys, as you can see, this is the automatic with the uh, CVT transmission. Um, I'm gonna see how it drives when I'm actually driving it, but they're actually, I think they actually offered the other trims offered in this year Forester was actually a six speed uh, manual transmission, which is pretty cool. So anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the walk around of this Forester. So now I'm going to take this thing out for a drive and show you guys my initial reactions. All right, guys, so now I'm actually driving this 2018 Forester and it does feel uh, very driver friendly like when driving it. I mean it steers super easy mind you it is uh, Definitely a newer vehicle. Uh, definitely. It does not have a lot of miles on it at all. It's pretty much uh, I don't say brand new but slightly used like if that Plus when the owner did just you know buy it obviously it was in the dealership So it probably did get serviced maintenance like everything's kind of like running how it should be on this vehicle now again, that being said, I'm not entirely sure of the reliability of these uh, newer Foresters and especially like uh, of the um, CVT uh, transmissions in these cars. But I mean, for the f for the most part, now I'm kind of like stepping on it. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't really go anywhere. It shifts pretty smoothly. There's no. I'm not feeling anything that I really shouldn't be feeling with this car. And the expe expectations are pretty much like high to begin with because uh, this is a newer vehicle. There shouldn't be any problems at all with this thing. Um, but as far as like the longevity or the lifetime, that's what me personally, like that's what I'm talking about when I talk about the, like the reliability. Uh, but yeah, so for the most part, uh, steers very nice. Uh, no slop in the steering whatsoever. Um, the mirrors are great. Uh, even the side mirrors, I don't think I've even filmed them, but the side mirrors are like, are almost like a little bit more circular, uh, not necessarily like a thin oval, but there's a lot, of, basically there's just like, there's not really any blind spots with this vehicle that I can really notice right off the bat. And also the brakes uh, feel great. I mean, there's, there's really nothing that I can say bad about this car despite the fact that there's definitely a decent amount of body roll like when you're cornering and something but like I mean you don't really you don't really expect like an SUV uh, like this to be super good at cornering or like you're not going to take this thing to a track so it's like 
Uh, as far as like a daily driver, it's a very practical SUV. I'm sure you can probably do some like light off-roading uh, with this SUV. Well, it definitely, I mean, obviously it's a sunny, beautiful day right now, but if it were to be in like heavy rain or snow, I'm sure it would handle it just fine unless it was like, you know, extreme conditions. Accelerating. Yeah, and now it's up to 60, so probably I, I don't I don't even know what the zero to 60 time for this SUV is, but it is uh, definitely pretty slow. But again, like family friendly, like daily drivable, uh, low power SUV, like it's it's pretty fine. And honestly, you do feel like it is pretty like lightweight. Again, it's like just under uh, 3,500 pounds, which for an SUV of this size, I feel like is definitely like lower than what I would think it would be. And you could definitely feel it. like for an SUV, it's again, easy to easy to corner, easy to turn, uh, a lot of, a decent amount of body roll, obviously. Um, you're gonna get that with a higher, you know, center of mass. But it is pretty like agile and nimble, especially again for a mid-size uh, SUV. And I'm sorry guys, I do feel like I'm kind of just like repeating the same things over and over and over again. But for the most part, this Forester, I don't want to say it's boring because it's not really boring. Like it is definitely enjoyable to drive, but there's just like not that much to talk about. But it definitely like does its job and it does its job very well. accelerating too like driving at like highway speeds it handles it just fine like um i mean <laughs> there's no shaking there's no like added winds because sometimes like with suvs you'll actually feel you know air resistance coming up from like underneath the vehicle and that does affect the handling the steering and uh basically just how the vehicle actually drives but as far as this is concerned like driving at highway speeds it handles it just fine are you gonna do any like top speed runs with this thing anytime soon? Uh, I don't think I would, but again, it is more of like a modern design, a little bit more rounded off, a little bit more aerodynamic. And in the cabin, when the window is up and the air conditioning is on, it is uh, very calm and easy to drive. So that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. Again, like not one of the more exciting vehicles that I've done on my channel, <laughs> but still, if you're either, if you have one yourself or you're looking to buy a 2018 Subaru Forester, I hope this was at least a little bit more entertaining as well as informative. So definitely if it was entertaining or informative, uh, leave a like down below because it helps me out a lot as a smaller YouTuber. And also definitely be sure to subscribe as well because a lot of you guys aren't even subscribed to my channel. And I come out with car reviews like this, modified car reviews, DIY videos, car show vlogs, like a bunch of different videos. And I come out with at least three videos a week. So definitely be sure to subscribe down below because it helps me out a ton. So anyways, again, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Like always, thank you guys for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.